When I fire up this simulator, it comes alive. All the, the gauges start to move, the lights start to flicker. If you open or close a valve, pressures change. It's as if you're on the rig. We drill, particularly in the offshore world in extremely deep water environments, and the pressures involved are tremendous. And therefore, we want the people on the field drilling the wells to have the best training possible. All right, so we're up and running now, so we should be good to go. Keep coming, there you go, half a foot. The reason we have this drilling simulator is we want the people on the rig to be prepared in the event something were to happen, they know exactly what to do to get us back to a safe situation. The element of surprise is, is actually one of my tools. I let them get comfortable, and then I throw a problem to them. They recognize it, they do the proper thing, and then I introduce another problem. What I'm really watching for is how they react. Are they calm, under pressure? They've got to communicate. They've got to look out for one another. They've got to share information. To me, this is no different than military or commercial airline simulators. The value of all of this is to give them practice to make the competencies of the people that work for us that much higher. My desire is whenever people leave this room, if they're ever in the field and they see a problem coming up, they'll say, I've done this before. I know exactly what to do.